Now, please look at this image. This is Scottish dog. And where do we see this Scottish dog appearance? This is a normal finding. Scottish dog appearance is normal finding. What happens is when you see the spine, lumbar spine, especially in posterior oblique projections on radiographs, you will see that the transverse process, the transverse process, the superior articular facet and inferior articular facet of the vertebral bodies that gives the appearance. So, imagine this is the transverse process, this is the superior articular facet and this is the inferior articular facet that gives the normal appearance of a Scottish dog. Look at this. So, this is the transverse process, this is the superior articular facet and this is the inferior articular facet. So, Scottish dog appearance is a normal appearance on a posterior oblique lumbar spine x-rays and if you have a break in the pars interarticularis you call it spondylolysis and this will appear like a Scottish dog collar. So, Scottish dog appearance is normal. Scottish dog collar sign is feature of spondylolysis. There is break in the pars interarticularis. Pars interarticularis break will be called as spondylolysis giving a Scottish dog collar sign. But if the vertebrae move or if there is a spondylolisthesis, it gives the appearance of a beheaded Scottish dog. Beheaded Scottish dog. And in a frontal projection, this same spondylolisthesis, especially L5 over S1, this spondylolisthesis gives the appearance of a inverted Napoleon hat. This is called as inverted Napoleon hat side. Also a feature of spondylolisthesis. So, spondylolisthesis in a posterior oblique view will show you beheaded Scottish dog appearance. On a frontal view, it shows a inverted Napoleon hat sign. So, this is the Scottish dog collar sign, feature of break in the pars interarticularis, feature of spondylolysis, spondylolysis.